Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. This is Valentine's Cards and Project Series number 7. And I'm going to be making a tea bag holder. Now I spent about a half an hour on YouTube and um, also checked through the Silhouette Library and then I found some other options on the Cricut cartridges, cartridges that I have for tea bag holders. But I liked this one. And this one's a little more complicating than some of the other ones. The one that I found on the Silhouette I really like too. And if I have time I'll do a quick how to put it together sort of tutorial at the end of this video. Now this is Stampin' Up! paper and it is double sided which you probably will want to make your tea bag holder with so because it folds over and has all these really fun folds and stuff. Alright so let's get right started here. Highlighting the Sweet Treat Sweetie Avocado Art Stamp Set and we're going to be using some hearts and the cup of tea you're my cup of tea stamp and this little coffee cup here using some Copic markers. And let's do our scoring. <clears throat> I think this side will be able to see it better. Now because the tea bag folds this way I wanted my hearts to run horizontal. On this side it doesn't matter but that's how I want the hearts to run. So, Alright so at the 12 inch line you want to start your score lines at two and a half, four and a quarter, and I will put all these measurements on my block. And five, and seven, nine and a half, and ten and three quarters. Then you want to go to the eight and a half inch side. Only two score lines, two and a half and six. And then there's these four corners here and four corners here. They actually have score lines in them but we're just going to pretend like those aren't there because we're actually going to be cutting it out. That's not very strict. You could use your paper trimmer for this as well. I'm going to get a little bit bigger scissors here. Good. Now how cute is this, right? It has that little score line in it. You can use it as a tab for a mini. I'm keeping those. Turn this up a little. score line. And the last one. Now for the double sided paper you have to decide which paper that you want or what side of the design that you want to see on the outside. So for this one, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go ahead and fold all, do all of our folds. And I'm just going to start from this side. And there's one here. Got it. Over here. And then we'll go here. I'm sorry, I hesitated because I wasn't able to see the score lines. Hold it here. I think that is all of them. However, I have an extra score line here that I'm not sure why. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now you want to fold in your corners. 
this is cute paper. I don't know if I mentioned it's Martha Stewart. I got this last year. She's got another paper pad out that's cute too. But I didn't really need any more, so. When I was watching the YouTube videos, most of these tea bag holders were made for people who weren't feeling well, but I thought how cute it would be for Valentine's Day too. Okay, so you're like this. You want to flip it over, fold this in, and fold this in. By the way, this is the first time I've ever made this, so we'll see what happens, right? Okay, so we're like that. And then we have to fold that score line. I missed that one. And then this one. Okay, so this is the point where I have to decide which one I want to see, you know, prominently on the front. And I do like this one the best. Definitely. Okay, I'm going to open it back up. And as you can see, these kind of th little things flap up. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my adhesive. I got this at Walmart. And the refills are like $2.50. So, just within my budget. Okay, so that's going to hold the tea bag, and then this one hold the tag. Excellent. So there is our little tea bag holder. And I like this. Now, what I one of the videos that I watched, she put these um, in a party bag, she or a little tiny treat bag, she put some tea biscuits, she called them. And I thought that was a really cute idea. So, but however, I don't have cookies and I don't have the bag. So when I get those, I can put those in there. All right. So you want to punch holes here to put your ribbon in. Now for my previous tea bag that I made, I put these cute little recollection hearts that I had bought last year at um, Michael's. And, but for this one, I'm just going to use this as, as you know, plain. I'm not going to put anything on it. So. Now that I'm looking at this, my hearts are upside down. Hmm, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and flip it over. And put the heart paper on the outside. Nope, that's not going to work. Well, I'm going to have to just deal with it. I'll have to deal with it. Only I would notice it, right? The recipient probably wouldn't even say, oh, look, their hearts are upside down. I'm just trying to think of ideas of how to, to cover that. I'm going to leave it for now. All right, sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and punch our holes in it. Now, you can actually take your ruler out and measure it, and it's three and a half inches wide and punch your holes like that, or you could just eyeball it, which I'm going to do. And you got two layers here. And I'm going to do it up a little bit like this to make sure it's even. that's where your ribbon's going to go through, which we can put in right now. I'm just using, you know, standard white ribbon for this because the, the paper's so cute. You don't want to draw attention away from the paper.
Come on, ribbon. There we go. I'm just making sure that's flat on the back. And let's tie our bow. Just think this is such a cute idea. Especially if you have, um, you know, someone that's in the hospital. Make one of these for them and take it, take it in for them. Oh, look at that bow. Yay. Okay, so we set that aside. Let's do our tag. I'm using the Recollections uh, 1.6 inch by 3.25. And we're going to do some stamping. Um, I am going to be using my Momento pens for this because these are very tiny little stamps and I want it to be accurate. So. Going to put this on a different stamp pad. And then I can go in with my black one and do the little arrows that are going through. I'll put that guy right there. Very nice. And then I'm going to do the You're My Cup of Tea. I think that one's the Happy Valentine's Day. <clears throat> You're My Cup of Tea and I'm going to do this one in black. put that one right across here because I'm going to pop up my little coffee cup. Now let's go ahead and add some more little hearts here. Use my little stamp. You know just here and there. I like these little hearts, they're so cute. My coffee cup's gonna go right there, so let's do one more right here. Very, very cute. Put my lids on so my pens don't dry out. And then let's go ahead and we're gonna use our Copic markers to color this. And I'm using uh, E25. For the coffee. Just gonna do one layer and then I'll go in and shadow it with the same color. And then I'm gonna color the coffee cup red. This is R27. Now, Avocado Arts has the digi cuts as well, or you can hand cut it, whatever you'd like to do. So, since I got my silhouette cameo, I'm able to do the digi cuts. And they have a Stamp of the Month Club. It's always fun to get those in the mail. Okay, and then I'm going to use. R22. Put some pink here. And I'm going to go back in and put my E25 as the saucer. Sorry about that tea bag uh, somewhat tutorial. Like I said, that's the first time I had done it. And I'll put the correct score lines 
on my blog because I did I added a, a score line in there very cute now let's do our little heart by the way you can use the memento ink pens to color too all right but wait I'm not done I have these cute stamp I mean um, they're like puffy things from EK success that I am going to put on this coffee cup just use this I don't want it too big now this one matches somewhat so we use that oh it's too big let's put that one back yeah, we need the little ones because it's a little coffee cup right <clears throat> Here's a pink one. Put that one there. Oh, you know what? I want to put a white one right there. My fingers are not working well today. Okay, let's find a little white one. Oh, this one's cute. It's got a little heart in the middle of it. Excellent. All right, so let's get my pop dots. And we're going to put that right on the tag. Put one down here too. Just noticed my battery light is flashing. warts to see and you're my cup of tea okay so I've got this and I've got a little piece of white that I'm gonna put through the hole I really have a hard time with my hands this morning it's kind of funny actually Look at, I didn't even get the strings through. Crazy. Okay, I gotta hurry, my camera's gonna go dead. And then you'll never get the end of the story. It'll be a mystery for the rest of your life. Okay, Kim, you can do this. <laughs> I'm my own little cheering section. Okay, Whew. crazy, right? All right. I always like to put two ribbons in my little, there's my cute little tag. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna put this in here. And then you know on the back you can always write to my dear friend, such, such, such a, there's my little holder for the tea bag. And there it is. How adorable is that? Okay, so I'm running out of battery, and it's already up to 18 minutes, so I'm not going to be able to show you the Silhouette tea bag on this video. Um, maybe we can do it the next one. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you Avocado Arts for always giving us the most adorable stamps. Bye for now.